Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I did the My Makeup Story tag and I posted that onto my blog. Now I thought I would do it on YouTube as well for my channel. I thought that might be fun. I've never actually, I think I might have done a tag on my YouTube channel once but it was a long time ago. Um, it was probably about a year and a half ago when I did it. Um, so I thought I'd do a new one, it gives you a chance to get to know me a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll tell you my makeup story now. Um, so question one, it says, how old were you when you first started wearing makeup? Well, I was a really late bloomer um, wearing makeup compared to some girls now. They have worn make makeup like since it was 11 or 12 I didn't start wearing makeup till I was about 16 or 17 when I started going out um, to the pubs and going to parties as well obviously I wanted to look nice um, so I started experimenting with makeup then um, I think that I wore makeup once when I was at high school and um, the science teacher was not impressed and told me to take it off straight away and it was mascara and eyeliner and I remember scrubbing um, my eyes and it took forever to get off and I think that's why I never wore it again for school and also it looked like I'd been crying because I'd been scrubbing my eyes so long to get the products out and even, even though I'd been scrubbing it the mascara came off eventually but the eyeliner um, was just it looked like he had panda eyes um, but yeah that was that was just awful um, so I didn't wear makeup to school again after that so question two is how did you get into wearing makeup well I've just answered that in saying that I wore makeup when I used to go out with my friends to the pub and obviously two parties as well um, so yeah when I was about 16 or 17 I started experimenting with makeup question 3 what are some of your favourite brands my favourite brand has got to be Too Faced without a shadow of a doubt they do the best packaging um, and the holiday collection in particular what they are bringing out this year is just so cute um i've actually asked for some of that holiday collection for christmas so i'm hoping um some of my family and friends will get me that um well not really friends but family um i also like urban decay um urban decay when i say i like urban decay it's more the naked palettes i like becca cosmetics um but that's more like the highlighters that they do in some of the cheap products are like I've just got um, one of the face palettes and I have the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics um, face palette as well I really like both of them um, what else did I write oh yeah it was the, the new Becca blush with light palette um, really really enjoying using that at the moment even though it's quite a new product to me um, and I also really like NARS products in particularly um, you won't be surprised to hear this but the foundation the NARS sheer glow foundation I just really like the way that it looks on my skin um, I do like the orgasm blusher and I've got a couple of lipsticks from NARS as well and an eyeshadow duo I think it's in the shade is old um, if that's how you pronounce it um, but I'll I'll leave the actual color in the description box if you want to go and check that out some of my favorites from the drugstore are Makeup Academy MUA um, <coughs> excuse me I Heart Makeup I Heart Makeup is a brand that I'm only just getting to know um, I've, it's only recently that I've started getting their palettes because the dupes for Too Faced and the the naked one that they brought out or, or nearly naked is a dupe for the Lorac Pro Unzipped and we can't get that in the UK so it's nice to have a dupe for that um, what else did I write 
Makeup Revolution, Freedom, Rimmel, Bourgeois, L'Oreal and the list can literally go on which it can with drugstore. I have more drugstore products than I do high end um, but I do have some little luxuries as well in the high end department. Question 4. What does makeup mean to you? And I've written makeup means absolutely absolutely everything to me I love ex experimenting with me with it with makeup I have started to get makeup a lot more when I started my YouTube channel and my beauty blog which I did um, I didn't really have that much makeup before that um, but when I started YouTube I, I started going out and getting brands that were recommended by other YouTubers and just trying them out and seeing if they work for myself. Um, I love that you start off with a blank canvas. You are your own artist and you can create any look that you want from a smoky eye to a nude and natural look um, to a bold lip, anything. The possibilities are endless. Question 5. If you could only wear 5 makeup products on your face, what would they be? My top 5 products would be my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, a good base is vital, my Rose Spritz Blush from the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette, and the Champagne Pop Highlight from the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. The eyeshadow would be from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I love that palette. It is my favourite palette. Um, even though I've not used it in quite a while. Um, it's definitely a favourite. It, it has all the neutrals that you're ever going to need. And it has some pops of colour in there as well. So yeah, I really do like that. Um, and I've also put that on. I'd like a nice natural matte lip as well. And I've been wearing Ka Kylie's Candy K lipstick. I love that lipstick. And I also really, really like Posy K. Um, they're the kind of two nude lips that I'd like. Um, but if I could only take one, it would be Candy K. What is your favourite thing about makeup? That's question six. I like that as soon as you put makeup on, it can be a confidence builder. And you can also create any look you want. Um, so that's the answer that I've given for that one. Question 7. What do you think about drugstore versus high-end makeup? I love the fact that drugstore um, basically dupe high-end makeup. Like I said earlier, the Lorac Pro Unzipped, you just can't get it in England. I don't know of a site where they, where they sell it and they ship it over to England. I've checked the Lorac Pro the Lorac website and they don't ship to the UK I'd really appreciate it if you know of a site that does and you could leave that in the link because I really would like that palette um, but yeah I'm glad that I Heart Makeup did a dupe for it and they've also done dupes for the Too Faced Chocolate Bars as well which I think is really really good um, what else did I write? Yeah, I just put that the great value as well. The retail at seven ninety nine, I think, um, and you know, compared to palettes of the same size, like the one from Too Faced that they've duped, um, that's thirty eight pound fifty, which is it's over thirty pound in price comparison. So it really is great, especially when you're on a budget, or it's good for teenagers as well if they are getting into makeup and they don't have the money to splash out on the higher end products. I've also put it, it is nice to have look a few luxury high end products and since I started to create my blog and YouTube channel I do have more luxury high end products than I had but most of my makeup is from the drugstore I would say. I have about 85% drugstore and 15% high end so it's not much at all when you think about it like that. Question 8. What tip of, what tip of advice would you give Yeah, what tip of advice would you give to a beginner? Beginner. 
I've just put, I've not really put any advice to a beginner, I put to a 16 year old me because my makeup when I was 16 was horrific, especially my foundation. It was orange, I looked like I'd been tangled. At that point in my life, I thought that you'd had to go like three or four shades darker just to give you a nice, like, kind of brown look, kind of like a tanned look. Um, so obviously this was like a brown orange and then when you got to my neck it was pasty white. See, nowadays um, young ladies have got representatives in stores that test out foundation on them or that's what they should be doing. Um, back when I was looking at foundation, when I was 16, over 20 years ago, they didn't have anything like that for me um, so I just had to go to the shelf and choose my own I think the first foundation I ever chose was from Rimmel um, and it was just it must have been about four shades too dark for me so it really really did look bad um, so what I would suggest now to me if, if I was like 16 again or just starting out in makeup going to go to the brand that you want to purchase the foundation in and ask them to colour match you if you live in the UK number seven have this brilliant way of colour matching you they put like a a tool just on on you like here just so they can tell what kind of um, foundation that you need um, or just go into a department store um, and they'll colour match you and obviously then you'll know what shade you are um, and then the idea is once you've got your foundation on you can bronze up your skin to bronze up your face to warm up your skin um, whereas I just thought the foundation did that so I didn't even bother with bronzer back then um, but that was a yeah we're just saying it was a long time ago that happened I think I've come a long way in applying makeup um, but yeah I'm not ashamed to say you know I did make a lot of makeup mistakes back in the day um, what else did I write I think that's it everything I've just told you I wrote so which is one makeup trend that you have never understood the one makeup trend that I've never understood is baking, how you bake your entire face, like where you, I understand the, the concept of it but when I come to do it, it just doesn't seem to work out for me so although I say I don't understand it, I do understand it, I understand that it gives you highlight, like it gives you a sharp contour if you put it underneath um, and if you bake under your eyes it um, it is supposed to make them look more luminescent, more highlighted, like you're more awake. Um, but for me, it just doesn't seem to work out right and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I don't think I am doing anything wrong, it's just it doesn't look right, so I don't really do it. What I have been using is the Laura Mercier bright Brightening Powder, just under my eyes and down my nose. Um, and then on my cheek here um, just to I wouldn't call it baking but just to give it a little bit of a glow um, but yeah I do not bake I don't bake um, so yeah that's basically what I answered there and then number 10 what do you think of the beauty community on YouTube I think the beauty community on YouTube is really good. I've only been back on YouTube a short while. Um, I think I started my YouTube channel now about two years ago. Um, I've been back on YouTube probably less than six months and I really do like it. I like the interaction. I haven't, like I said, I haven't been on that long so I get more interaction through my blog. Um, and yeah, I, I can't, I don't really have a bad word to say against YouTube. I love watching other YouTubers videos. Um, I'm always watching those. Um, so yeah, really, really do like it. Um, 
but I do blog more than I make videos for YouTube so if you haven't already checked it out go over to my blog it's beauty with andrea 36.blogspot.co.uk if you haven't subscribed to my channel um please do so and hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it and what did i write so at the end of this um, blog post i put that's all the questions answered i really enjoyed doing this post for my blog as it's something different I hope everyone enjoys reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it. And why not do the tag yourself? If you have done this makeup story tag already, you are going to, or or you are going to do it. Please leave a comment. I would love to read it. As always, thank you for reading. So, I'm not tagging anyone in particular. If you've not already done this makeup story tag, um, you do it, and please please leave me a comment down below with your YouTube channel and I'll go and check it out. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.